for Captures. I'm joined by the usual crew tonight, Anna and Christian. What's up? And uh, tonight, since uh, Anna did not get in her knockoff garbage from China... Uh, what, knockoff garbage? What, what knockoff I garbage? Don't, I don't even know. That's just a general statement. <laughs> what you have coming in from I, I know you have some things coming in from China but uh, I have legitimate third party figures coming in from China they're saying I have no sound hold on this I could be it. the best show ever Christian let's run yes, with it we'll take over this is great alright is this better That's now Randall's awesome. probably like damn it like he's like no no, it's way too loud. Hi, Christian. What figure are we talking about tonight? Tonight That's we're going to talk show. about Heinrad. Ooh. Oh, there you go. Kind of show. Can you show. Can you hear me now? We're going to talk about some okay. Tanuki. All right. I got to switch. Point. Sorry about that. Okay. So anyway, Shoot. welcome to TFLP Microcasters. We'll do this again uh, now that you can actually hear me. Um, so since, uh, since Anna didn't get her knockoff garbage in from China, are you seriously that repeating that line? <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. no, I had to, I had to do it now that I'm saying it. No, no one yeah, can hear me. So. Um, so anyway, so Anna did not get her knockoff garbage in, whatever that is. And so we were forced to do some more, you know, Earthrise siege, whatever, whatever you call it, which with some unannounced figures. I guess Randall was like, wait a minute, like, those figures haven't even officially been announced yet. How are you reviewing they, them? They have not. But. Yet here they are. Yeah. We've got Grease Pit and Exhaust. Woo! Oh boy, repaints. Woo! Oh boy, repaints indeed. Yay. These are exciting. I love them. They're very great. Spoiler alert for the end. I love them. So the thing that's uh, that's funny is this. So these are some more generation selects, and I I can't remember like what are the numbers on these. Uh, in my recycling bin. Uh, I can't remember uh, uh, wh which ones they are, but there's like I believe there's a gap in between like certain releases. So like there's. I believe there's like a bunch of selects that haven't been actual, or I, I know what it is. The ones that that uh, went up for pre-order, I think. I can't remember what They're, Tiger Track and Rotor Storm yes. and Centurion. Yes, Tiger Track and Centurion. So if you look at those, like there's like a gap uh, in between. So like we know there's a bunch more of these figures coming, and these are a couple Good. of them. Um, Bring them on. So. Um, so yeah, so these showed up randomly from someone on eBay, like, a, I don't know, a couple weeks ago is how we originally we found out about them. Yeah, it's, it's new. And, and then they like start popping up and, uh, the Chosen Prime and Toy Jojo both got in like a small amount of them. And so that's how we got ours. Christian and I were like, oh, hey, look at that. And ordered, uh, ordered ours r quick because... You know, we did pay a little bit extra in order to get them, you know, early. I mean, it wasn't a lot. It was like an extra five bucks or whatever bad. per person yeah. or per, per figure. But, uh, yeah. But they're here, and that's what counts. And they haven't been announced. My suspicion is that they're this year's equivalent to last year's Lancer and Hotshot figures, where they'll go and be live on EE and Pulse, like, during SDCC. But we'll see. Um, I'm just, now, oh. I'm I'm curious if they were supposed to be the Entertainment Earth exclusive, and you know they've been like spreading out all of their SCC exclusives where, like it's like one a week or something like that. But somehow that's true. I haven't even paid attention to them because they're so spread out. I'm pretty sure so. they're steady. So yeah, um, so yeah. yes, they are they are repaints. I don't know which one you want to. We want to focus uh, on first. Exhaust. He's closer. I'm sorry. Which one? You got to break the tie. We said one of each. Uh, I mean, I guess we can get exhaust out of the way since it's like right. kind of more boring. Outvoted. Outvoted. So Is which one? Oh, I guess you have it in really? robot mode there. So. 
Ooh, he's boring. a robot. He's very white, which is great. Is that is that great? Yep. Wheeljack was kind of that kind of off white color. Yes. Instead of like really bright white, so this is the bright white version. I don't know if you can tell, it's like so they have uh, they have colors. Hard to. Has, it's hard to tell the difference in the camera. Yeah. Yeah, it's easier to tell in person. But yeah, but it's definitely. Are... Just buy both of them. Do the comparison. Easy. It's it's definitely like I mean you can tell that like. You know, Wheeljack is more of an eggshell kind of color, whereas, like, this is, like, a bright white. Super white. So, who the heck is Exhaust, anyway? Why are we reviewing this Exhaust guy, this weird, mean-looking Wheeljack? Uh, Because Wheeljack needs a repaint. Yeah. So, this is what they came up with. the history part of it? Yep, you do the history part of it, Christian. I was sending you up for it. Thanks. It's on the script. Jeez. Uh, exhaust is based on the Marlboro Colors Wheeljack. I think that was a Diaclone release way before it got imported to uh, America. And then Exhaust as a character existed in MP when the Masterpiece Wheeljack needed a repaint. And now that repaint history has made it to Generations. What an exciting history lesson. He's made appearances in like comics and as like background dudes for a while, but you can see his cool eyeless head. So the thing that I think is the most interesting about this is, is it does not actually have a Decepticon symbol on it. Nope. It has the, um, Oh shoot. What's the, uh, mercenary, mercenary? mercenary? the mercenary one. It's so even though it says mercenary. Decepticon on the box, it's 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 its name is Decepticon Exhaust, but it does not have a Decepticon symbol on it. So that is weird. Although Maybe we'll learn about, the, about that in the fiction. Probably. You want to talk about the weirdest part of the deco, though, Lucas? What's the weirdest part of the deco, Christian? I know what the weirdest part. It's on his spoiler, and it's on the uh, front quarter panels. Is it when we're going to go to school? It's when we're going to go to school. So that's supposed to say exhaust, but it in fact says ex who asked. And you can either choose to believe it's, you know, an error and no one ever caught it, or you can believe like I do and believe a little bit more magic. So for a long time, people were marketing like not KOs, but kind of vaguely third-party versions of this as a Marl Bore Wheeljack, is that a Marl Boro Wheeljack? So I'm kind of thinking they homage that by switching letters around within Exhaust. Because why not? So I one explanation. Can I throw out a second explanation that would totally sure. blow your mind? Yep. What if, what if this version that you have right now is some sort of weird factory reject misprint? And when it comes out fully, it's spelled correctly. Would you have to buy another one? No. No. Okay. So, so I think that there's actually a more logical explanation and, and boring explanation is that they can't get the trademark to exhaust because it's too like uh, ubiquitous or whatever, and so they have to misspell it in order to get the the trademark or you know copyright or whatever it is on it. That's. That's my theory. Do you have to have those rights to print it on the figure itself? I don't no, you don't. Little... But I mean, I think that they would it's want. Like, I mean, they try to they, they try to but secure as much IP as they can. So I think, think Decepticon exhaust for. Well, they should have printed Decepticon exhaust. So, yeah. I guess if they're trying know. to write his name instead of a word, that might work. I like my magical explanation better. Anyway, yeah. I like to believe some in people, people. I've seen some people on the internet freaking out and say that they're going to have to order labels to cover up that misspelled word. I'm sure that labels will happen to cover up the misspelled word because someone's got to make the Marlboro labels to put on them. You have to be able to turn them into the cigarette car. I don't know that you like uh, when they had the masterpiece. What did Toy Hacks do for the... Like, they couldn't have done Marlboro or whatever, but no. did they do stuff to, like, they make it closer to the cigarette? Or yeah. 
So they probably they would do did. that, but and then Ocean TFs did another one, and that's debatable on whether or not it was actually Hasbrasia related. Anyway, there were stickers for the MP. I'm sure there'll be ones for this one. It'll be no big deal. Okay, yeah, I, have I have a question for the stickers. for Wheeljack's numbering. It, yeah. Isn't this his original number, or am I like rem- misremembering? Wheeljack is five three nine. Oh, five three nine. Okay. I think. Don't quote me on that one, man. Some reason I. Well, I know. Oh, I know his new one is six three eight. So. I don't. I don't know what the. Well, I may have just made stuff up. Don't worry about it then. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what the G1 Not will, Jack. Good. I'll have to look it up. I, th- these are the things I probably should have looked up beforehand. I was just thinking about it now. I'm good. I'm not that good. Sorry. So so my question is, is okay, so with this mercenary faction symbol that we have, yep. and like it's in the Transforming Trading Card game as well, are we going to see more mercenaries show up in Transformers, do you think? I think there's at least two more coming down that we know about, right? The Double Dealer and Snapdragon. Are they going to have the mercenary label on them? That's what they advertise at Toy Fair. There you go. Well, that's exciting. If you're like me and are going to have two Double Dealers, then you'll have three more coming. (laughs) Double Double Dealer. Quadruple Dealer. Randall, see, this is... We rely on you in the chat to look up this information for us. See, we we rely on you guys, not on Google. That's so. right. Because I, I tried to look at my um at my Wheeljack toy that I have, but my Wheeljack toy is an absolute mess. So there, there's no numbers on this thing. It's just, like, mm. covered in black paint. <laughs> oh, there, there <laughs> you go. It? Was I right? Huh? Was I right? Did Randall look it up? Oh, he can look it up. I... I'm no, he he just there. said oh. that uh, it's it's called an open tab in Google, but I said this is what we have we're you busy, for. We're busy talking to you guys, the right? Exactly. Guys. So it's hard enough for me to, have to put on a like, show like if I had to go here and Google it, I'm going to hit the microphone and then you know people complain. Oh, you know that that is true. Straight so. to that microphone. Um, so, I I will say I feel like that the paint. red paint looks a little bit odd on it i don't know like think if so? you think so christian like not that it looks, it looks odd, odd like... on the window slash the chest because the it doesn't match between what's painted on the white plastic and the clear plastic right like it's, it's close it, it's closer it seems than pretty you know thick. that used to be for that sort of thing but it's not it's not perfect i don't know it looks pretty thick and like it almost looks like the kind of paint job that i would give to a figure a little yeah. bit like I don't know. It just it 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 looks a little bit different, I should say, than like most of their paint jobs. Like it just seems like it's more noticeable on this figure than like if you're looking at the wheel jack. Like it does not look the same. So yeah, I think it's because wheel jack breaks up the color with the striping on his chest and stuff. It could be. It could be. I do think this one needs more blue. I think it would have been great to have clear blue windshield plastic that would have been great but uh, i think you and i both are getting the no nef kits when they come out right lucas and that comes with blue wings and that'll I, help i did want to to get that um i probably will because um i have it for the wheel jack figure Me and too. it's really good on the wheel jack so i i think that i don't know that uh the masterpiece figure i think has purple on it like right I think it's got blue. Is it blue? Um. Anyway, what like bluish purple, whatever it is, um, is uh, like I think that it would it it would really help a lot if it just had one extra color on it. I think. Yep. So. That makes sense. Uh, if for a select figure, I feel like it also could use an extra weapon. But I said that when Wheeljack came out too. That could use this thing and Wheeljack's normal laser, or for exhaust, it could use this thing and another version of this missile launcher thing. This is just going to be Hasbro's new MO, where they just start selling accessory packs to us, like with other figures. You know what? That Centurion announcement with the big old accessory pack, I am good with that. If they want to give me a couple extra Wheeljack guns and exhaust guns and another pack like that, wonderful. Please. 
My only complaint with that pack is is the fact that it's like a ton of gray plastic. Like I think the ones that they had to paint or like do in a different color or whatever they did. Um, but like a lot of the accessories have a lot of gray plastic in general, so it's not the I think it's a good markers. experiment. I would kind of rather it came separately, but I know that it just wouldn't be very the way they're doing it is smart. The way they're doing it is right. smart. I don't think it would be successful if they did it separately. They've tried it with Star Wars stuff, and it's never been right. good. I think in I general... It separate. I, I think in general that it would be hard to sell it for... Like, if they did it separate, they probably had to charge, like, $20 for just the accessories. You know? Because, like, there's a cost of making a box and shipping it and whatever, right? Putting it on the pegs. Um, whereas, like, I think if they put it with a figure, then it could be 30 for both. Like, I think that's the issue you've kind of seen with MMC with some of their stuff. Yeah, you're probably right. I, I mean, I could be wrong. I don't know. but and, and one thing, too, that annoys me a little bit about this, and the reason I may end up getting an, uh, the non-F kit, is that they didn't paint the inside of the, um, the spoiler, so it's just straight white, which is, you know, again, if they would have painted that, I think it you know, like blue or whatever, or, or purple, or would have been black, look cooler. Is this something we that's in the that. kit, new wings? Yeah, it has blue wings. Hmm. So, uh. And they're longer, just like wheeljacks are, so they're more proportional. It really annoyed me on wheeljack that they were so short and stubby. For exhaust, since he's a different dude, it doesn't annoy me quite as much, but I'll right. be happy to have the long ones anyway. And he can be whatever he wants. So Randall brings up a good point in the chat for uh, with the accessory kit. Which roller are you going to use? The one coming from Hasbro or the one from Nanef? Well, so everyone looks both. better. And I think I ordered blue in all of them. So yeah, they're same, all gonna same have here. blue rollers. I kind of wish now I would have ordered the gray one from Nanef, but like I think that Nanef one's gonna be a lot nicer. I mean, I haven't really seen the Hasbro kit that closely, but like just the amount of pieces, like he was showing on Twitter today, like how to assemble it all and whatnot. And I mean, it comes with like black interior pieces. It comes with the like a little siren on it. Like you can, it, it explicitly like fits the uh, Titan Master or. Your Titan Masters or whatever little Headmaster guys. Um, I don't know if the Hasbro kit does do that or not. So I was about to say I wouldn't think so, but you know what? They've done some interesting things recently. I wouldn't be surprised if it did. Yeah. They didn't show that off specifically, though. I mean, I am happy that Hasbro is doing Roller. You know, like that we're able to get it. Like that's that's the one thing. It was kind of a little sad when you didn't get so like the fact that we're getting those accessories that we were missing from yep. the the pack so I, don't know. I mean well i guess done. we can complain a little bit that it didn't <laughs> come with our 50 dollar figure but you know whatever i'm happy it exists no it's really cool i, I think I it's like a great idea that they're doing it you like what yep. i like the drones too oh sure i ordered two so yay the drones are the drones are bumming some people out and exciting others. It's interesting, but let's finish talking about our guys for tonight. Yeah. Since since the sooner we get these done, the sooner it's next week, and I might actually have the toy. So, exhaust is great. Go grab him. If you want the kit, go grab that too. I mean, I think if you if you already have the wheel jack, I mean, it's the same it's the same mold and all that. Um, I think if you. For whatever reason, if you didn't want to grab the wheel jack, like, I mean, here's another alternative for you uh, to have an exhaust. So I think the only thing Anna brought up was the fact that, like, exhaust, I think we, you could, he was on clearance or whatever, wasn't he? Like, for, like, 50 bucks or something at the end of the He's day. He's not an expensive MP to get. He's one of the, the cheaper things to obtain if you really want it. But that also and can be you true. Really tell yourself that's better than the MP. Eh, I don't know about that. Um, but uh, that can also be said of G two swipe swipe as well. That I th I think that the mainline release may have been just as expensive as because like I think it was clearanced out for like 40, 50 bucks 
on BBTS. So we don't, Catherine. We don't actually know when these guys are going to go on legit sell. Like I would just watch the you know third party toy dealers and see if anyone gets them. Since you guys said that Chosen Prime and one other place already have them. Toy Dojo toy and Dojo. Chosen Prime both have. Toy Dojo. I'm sure that uh, Big Bad Toy Store and Toy. Um, TF Source will probably have them. And Hasbro will more than likely have them as well. We just don't know when they'll actually yeah, go it, up. Like I said, it's it's probably the Comic Con things for Entertainment Earth, which yeah. means they'll go up in the next you know couple of weeks before Comic Con starts. So they'll be up soon. Yeah, we have no reason to think they're going to be a difficult release, no. other than the other difficult releases lately. I don't think most of the selects have been pretty easy to come yeah, by, they haven't have they? Been. I feel like Except the harder ones Wing, have been yeah. the store exclusives. Red Wing was a select and a store exclusive. That's true. Yeah. Red Wing is the he, challenge he was, guy. He was somewhat difficult, but the others, yeah, pretty fine. I have one question for Lucas before we close this one. That non-F kit, does that fix the gaps in his legs? No. No? Okay, cool. I would need those fixed if I was going to own that. Figure. I don't. I don't so. know that there's like a way to, like, I mean, because it's could, part of the transformation. You do it and make it still transform. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Like, I, I don't think there's a way to to do that. Like. Yeah, I can't display that, so I'm out. But that's so, okay. Well, you guys might still be able to sell me the other one. You're the only person I know who displays their figures the inside of the legs facing forward, so you look at it. All I the do, I do. I just every toy is just yeah. on my shelf with these like, the legs hey. facing forward. Yeah, that's how that's how Anna does it. So. Not every every toy, I see. That's how yeah. he was standing on my shelf. It's the legs facing forward. Well, yeah, there you go. I was making a joke, but you made it real. Well, because I picked up the toy and moved his legs. Oh. <laughs> so I'm still trying <laughs> to figure <laughs> out though. <laughs> How, how is it that, like, you love this, you know, the Masterpiece figure, and it has huge holes in its legs, but, in like, back. is that forgivable? But, like, it's... I don't, I don't understand, but the $20 toy, you're like, nope. Can't have holes. That's the like, back, and holes. the shading's done well. Okay. The way the All lighting right. hits it doesn't emphasize it as much. I don't really feel like you can tell, like, when you... I mean, you can't... No. Well, you can if you pose his legs right. <laughs> oh, I, yeah. I don't know. I, anyway. On the Grease Pit. So, yeah. So, Grease Pit, the star of the show. Grease Pit um, is tight. So... In the cool way. Not the, you know, his joints are unnecessarily tight way. <laughs> so, he's very cool. So he is a personification of the gas station MicroMaster base that came with Grease Pit back in the MicroMaster days. We haven't seen his MicroMaster, the actual guy named Grease Pit yet, but hopefully we will if they do the uh, Monster Truck Patrol. Please, Monster Truck Patrol. But yeah, he's the gas station. So Grease Pit is a repaint of Ironworks, but he's probably more than a repaint, really, right? He's got, he's got a decent amount of new stuff. He's got a new head. Hey, re- real quick, okay. uh, Catherine was asking whether or not Exhaust had ankle tilt. So he does have, like, the rocker, and then he also has some tilt. Like, it stops kind of here, but, like, you like you can get full town due to the transformation, and then you can get like pretty good side to side, um, but you know, like there's, is, like this is well. as far forward as it goes. But it, like I think the ankle, the ankle articulation overall, like on the wheel jack exhaust figure, is it, pretty good. Like I'm, I'm happy with it. So, like I said, if you can stand a tiny little gap here. Okay, sorry, Christian. Apologize for. No that. worries. So he's got a new head. Which is very cool. There you go. Now it's focused. He's got a new 
gas tank piece, gas station, gas pump. His, his, his hand, instead of being a hook, like it was before, you're like, okay, it's a hook. I can I can get along with that. The the gas pump, you're like, eh, I don't know about a gas pump for a Wait a second. Is that a new head? Is it? I think that head's the same, isn't it? I don't it? think it is. It gets the oh. same head. Well, it's the same head. Yeah. Fine, I'm wrong. It's okay, though. It's a different color. You were tricked he's by, a, by paint. He's got a new sign piece, which is also new an sign. exact replica of the gas station MicroMaster base sign. Which is actually pretty cool. It's way cool. Because yeah. when I see that, I when I see that, I instantly think of Micro Machines. So it's a good, like, it just makes you think of the old toys back in the day. It's nice. It makes me think of Micro Masters. Yeah, well. Oh, apparently I've got the gas tanks upside down. And it's a flamethrower. There. It's a very significant difference now. There you go. I mean, okay, so if you're going to say flamethrower for an arm, I I'm with you there. So. Instead of a hook? Well, it's got a knob. Uh, I'm saying instead of just okay. a gas tank. Got it, got it. Yeah, so he doesn't have the hook thing? There's no more no, hook? No, no more hook. Okay, that's no good. More. That's good. I want to see changes. Because you guys might be able to talk me into this one. Well, yeah, you know how modulators, you can, you can combine them into any sort of base kind of thing you want? They gave him two different alt modes. They gave him the actual like tall version of ironworks that we came up with ourselves and then they gave him one that had like a long ramp out of the base part which is cool so they had instructions for three different modes or you can just do the boring base mode like i did that i'm showing on camera here so yep that's the basic one and that's like totally pretty fine. much the basic one but i think it's really neat how they did it like Literally, there are two different pieces on this than Ironworks. It's that little sign and then yep. um, the gas tank, right? But, like, you know, this is for Christian since he can't see the other camera. But, like, the little bases are, you know, like, kind of different because of the way that you do the configuration. So you put the arm over here instead of being a little hook crane on top. And then you attach the sign to it. And you put the gas tank or, or gas uh, thing over here. And then there's that. And then they also, there's little stickers on the top of the shoulders that kind of give the illusion, I guess, somewhat of like that it's a little, windows. you yeah. know, windows or whatever for the gas station kind of. kind of. Sure. Deal, so. The colors on this are also matched. I can't say exactly perfectly because I haven't looked at my gas station lately, but it seems like it's really spot on to what the actual MicroMaster gas station looks like. Yeah. You'll have to tell us when you get one, Randall. Be sure to comment and compare. Yeah, I, I have it. I just, the G1 over there, I just like, I didn't grab it. I thought I, I've got Hot House handy. I just didn't bring grease pits over there. All bad. I think we'll get Hot House out of Airwave, by the way. Yeah. More than likely. But I think so it's I awesome. It's awesome that they're doing all of these bases, that we're getting them. I love it so much, guys. Like, you, you both know that MicroMasters were, like, my jam. Like, I wasn't around for them, but I spent a long time completing that collection because I like the modularity. I like making the Micro City. I like that all the figures are the same size. They can interact so that they're doing it again, like when we first got Micro Masters, I was like, yay, Micro Masters. And then they come out with dudes that are bases. I love it. I want all of them. Please give them to me. So my question is, I've actually, I've had him since he came out and I've actually never displayed him in base mode. Will you guys actually display him in base mode? Is base mode good enough to display? For me, there's two different questions. Um, Probably not initially, and yes, respectively. Okay. Um, so, 
I'm I'm somewhat excited to try to actually like once all this stuff like comes out to make myself yep. a city on the floor with all of the Titan Masters and all these bases and just have all this like stuff connected. I think it'd be kind of fun just to to lay it out. Um, I agree with that. Well, that's well, what's cool. cool. What's cool about having deluxe size bases and micro master size micro masters is that you can put these in a detolf and put them in base mode and have them interact that way. And they're small enough to do that. Like you can't put you know, Omega Supreme in base mode inside of a detolf. I don't know that everyone uses them, but I do. But you know, I never use my base modes on my Titans because they're just huge. I don't have places right. to put them. These tiny bases for tiny figures, I'm all about it. Right. And so if you wanted to use these as kind of like display um, steps, I guess we should say, you know, rather than getting like acrylic shelves or something, like you can kind of use them in that way, uh, you know, if you wanted to. Mm, that's that's a all good about, point. Yeah, because yeah, I have some acrylic shelves in my collection and they're, you know, they kind of look weird. They do uh. the best they can. Yeah, yeah. Do all right. I mean, I, I don't necessarily know that you need to buy twenty dollars figures to, <laughs> you know, to replace acrylic shelves. It'd probably be cheaper to go with the shelves, but um, I mean, it's it's a fun you know option to have, I guess. So. Yeah, but if either of these guys ever went on super clearance, it would be it would be tempting to buy enough of them to make like a floor. I think I'm gonna have to get another Ironworks. Uh, Reaper Labels put out a a kit to make a new character called Rot out of it. And since I love these bases so much, I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to do that. You know, that's cool. You know that they're going to do another kit for Grease Pit as well, so you might as well just get a second Grease Pit. They haven't been doing conversion kits on Select so far. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Just the base figures. And they'll probably do one for Airwave. But uh, I wouldn't mind getting... Okay, so... I'm going to stop myself before I go off topic. About Grease Pit, the only quibble I have with him is on the legs. So he's very well painted everywhere else, but the legs, leg pieces have no paint whatsoever, and that bugs me. It could use, you know, something here on the knees to make it, or a stripe on the shins, or something with the toe. I don't know. I guess, yeah, the, I guess the old guy has his I don't know. It doesn't look like paint if it is. Exactly. There's just detail. It needs something on the lower half. It's not egregious. It's not terrible. But for all the rest of the you know, well-placed paint he has, for it not to be there is uh, unfortunate. I agree. It stands out a little bit. I mean, I just, I really like it blue and yellow, though. That blue and yellow together. Is... Yeah. yeah. Looks good. I think the blue, the blue the blue looks really sharp. Like if I were to only pick one figure um, between um, Grease Pit and Ironworks, I'd probably pick Grease Pit. Um, you know, part of it is just because I have another, like I have the G1 Grease Pit, and so I kind of like to get a new updated version of that as well. But I think the colors, um, I, I like them a little bit better. Um, but I mean, I think that they're both really cool. Um, you know, I don't know, like, now that you have these extra bases, like, do you think that this is a better play pattern than the weaponizers, or do you like the weaponizers better, mm. if you were to pick? I never broke up my weaponizers into weapons. Yeah. And I probably never will, because I want them to be their own people. With the bases, since the bases were never individuals before, and now they kind of are, but they're also kind of bases, I like this a lot more. Yeah. I don't they give us larger versions too. Voyager sized ones for like Ground Shaker and Sky Hopper. I'd even like a leader class like Sky Stalker. I think that'd be great. Well, I agree know. with you. I think the um, the base the bases survived a lot better than the alt modes for the other guys because the other guys' alt modes got really screwed up by the whole coming apart and going back together thing, point. right? Yeah. Like they didn't look great in their alt modes, especially Cog was just kind of a Thane that didn't really look like much of anything, or two Thanes, I suppose. Whatever, it wasn't great. But these guys, like, so far, 
I know this is the only one we have in hand, the only mold, but so far it looks like a base. You know, it looks like a, it looks like, again, a micro machine space because I didn't own any micro master bases. Um, Which is cool. So, so one thing I will say too is, is like just with this play pattern is that it's not necessarily um, violent. So like I know that that's one thing, Anna, that you always complain about, that you want your Transformers not to be violent. Well, here we are, because they're making just random stuff like ramps and, you know, bases and, and whatever, rather than weapons, so. That's true, that's true. I remember someone in our chat, I want to say it was Catherine, posted a picture turning um, ironworks into a table and chairs. And that was fantastic. I loved it. Oh, really? Oh, I need to check that out. That sounds cool. It was super fun. It required two um, ramp guy as well, though. One of our ramp guys save us. Oh, okay. Sound barrier. Well, that's not a problem. You know, I still don't have ramp guy. Still don't have him. Yeah. I bought extras in the beginning so I could have extra ramps just in case I needed them for a city. Did you end up just getting down to one ramp, Christian, or do you... I still have three. Yeah. Heck yeah, I like non-violent Transformers. That's like my thing, is I always complain about how Transformers is too pointlessly violent. I try to make all these non-violent displays in my room. It's fun. But for some reason, I didn't really get into BotBots. It's weird. I was sure that I would get into BotBots when they came out, because they're non-violent. But instead, I try to make my violent toys non-violent. I don't know. I guess it's just not a challenge. Everyone here knows I love BotBots. Well, we got actually we've had a couple new listeners join us since we last did a BotBot show. I'm the BotBots guy. That's true. That's true. We're reintroducing our personalities for new listeners. Yeah, I, I guess we haven't done a BotBot show in a while. We should probably do one of those here in a bit. Hey, you guys didn't let me do Series 5 when that was new. Sorry. That's yes, true. We haven't done Mopbots in a while. They still exist. Yeah. Well, Maybe the problem is is that I like Anna and I these. both kind of quit buying them. Um, yes. So, like, That's okay, then. though. Christian could do a Mopbots show. Because if I don't want him to do a Mopbots show, then I can't do a Legends show. And we all yeah. know I have to do a Legends show soon. Have you checked? Is Sean still doing Mopbots? I haven't talked to him lately. I was going to say, you should probably contact him and see if he, uh, maybe he wants to do a BotBot show as well. So, the BotBots guys are having problems getting Series 5 single packs right now. Mm -hmm. They briefly came out in the UK in January when they shouldn't have, and no one has seen them since. But I feel like that's kind of the case with everything. Like, Wave 1 of Earthrise came out, like, what was it, January, February time period? And then, like, it disappeared for months, and then now it's showing back up. I mean, part of it is just because of the new world we live in, but... I'm sure they'll be around again soon. Although Entertainment Earth has just recently solicited, and I believe got in stock, some Series 3 and 4 singles in new packaging. Huh. So you know how the the big old packs used to just come and they were ro rows of the you know, thirty or so that are in there. Yeah. Now it's like there's a six pack sleeve in each of the rows now. So let's finish up our discussion for tonight with a question I want to ask you guys, and I'm going to use my toys to represent the toys you have that I don't have. So first for exhaust, which is going to be represented by my gross Willjack. For exhaust, do you think he is, if you, okay, let's imagine that you are a one per mold collector. Would you buy Willjack or exhaust for this? Willjack. Christian so, is confused. I guess, I um, I, I guess that if, if you... If you really want, like, so say if you're going to have Wheeljack as your masterpiece, like, and you didn't have an exhaust and you're like, should I pick up the $20 Selects exhaust or the, you know, however much the um, masterpiece is, like, I'd probably just go ahead and pick this one up just because, like, he's not like a, 
you know, an A-list character or anything like that. So I would say that would be where I would pick exhaust up instead of wheeljack. Like if you have a wheeljack that you really like and don't want to replace, then like, I guess you might do this as your mold, but I, I like wheeljack better. I think that makes perfect sense. I think that's, that's very logical actually to do it that way. And I was actually thinking the same thing until I realized that I sold my exhaust for like $40 so if I was to buy this exhaust for twenty and an upgrade kit for ten, what have I accomplished? So I well, you don't have to buy the too. upgrade kit. Like it's just crazy. No, people but like I also Christian don't need an exhaust. That was my decision. Like I don't really need yeah. him in my collection until he becomes a real character in something. Yeah. Okay, so the other question, Grease Pet, which is represented by Ironworks because they don't have them. Would you if you could only have one, one of the two, would you get Grease Pit or Ironworks? Grease Pit. Ironworks. Ooh. So I think what we've illustrated through both of your indecision is that both of these repaints stand on their own. Because, okay. yeah, you seem to actually like them enough not to just be like, oh, I don't want the stupid repaint, I want the original. So that's good. Yeah, the number of new pieces, just exhaust new head and then grease pits new hand and sign attachments, it's it's minimal parts changing, but it does change the character of the figures quite a bit. Yeah, I think the color occur. really changes grease pit because this was a this was a dark character. Like he has a dark shelf presence and grease pit has a very bright shelf presence. Yeah, and then changing it from a I don't know, a construction vehicle to more of a, a construction site to more of like a thing you see on the street every day, gas station. I think that makes it different too, even though they kind of form the same way, the end result is not similar. And I mean, I think just the fact that like on exhaust that they use such a different color of white on it. um, It's really different. It's, it looks really different compared to wheeljack. Like, just because... Of, and then also, like, you know, one has the solid chest and the other one with the stripe. And, like, like the deco's different, too. So, um, you know, I, I think that that's, that's cool, too. Like, I I don't regret, like, having both of these. Back when we reviewed Wheeljack, my one complaint about Wheeljack was that he wasn't bright white. And now I have the mold in bright white, so I'm I'm good now. I, just, I like my wheeljacks to be bright. And, and I like and this mold. Being, I think that's but a good exhaust mold is too. Not bright white, so it's all all good. It all works out in here. That's good. That's good. So it sounds like everybody. It sounds like you guys like them. You'd recommend them. Absolutely. Yeah. I don't think I anyone should go out and overpay them. for them right now. They're not getting uh, so overpriced like the Seeker 2-pack is at the moment, but they're a little bit high. Oof. They'll probably be out by the end of the month. You can afford to wait and not pay super high prices for them. If you're a really picky person like me, when I played with Lucas's Will Jack, I could not stand him. So if you're really, really picky like I am, you might want to just like you know check around, look at pictures, maybe check out someone else's if you have that resource before you get it but i think ironworks is pretty that's pretty i'm very confident but i don't see i mean again like i don't i don't see what like if you're saying that you're a picky person like what like there's nothing with this mold to where i would say like it's literally very close to the masterpiece figure like Um, like the transformation but it's more fun the um I mean, I think like the he has a ton of articulation in him. Like, I don't, I don't see why. Like, I think that this is honestly one of the better deluxes. So, I mean, I would disagree with saying that like it's a meh figure or whatever. I mean, it has a ton of, ton of <laughs> ankle articulation, like waist articulation. I'll, I'll disagree. That's the whole that point as well. of this show. We're supposed to disagree. <laughs> I I very much like this mold. It's probably yeah. going to be my Omega Wheeljack. Like the last wheeljack I'll ever buy. Yeah, I'm already yeah. there. My masterpiece has been my last wheeljack I'll ever buy for a long time. I mean, the masterpiece is great too. So, I just folded the the wings 
into their just normal spoiler mode. And now I think this looks like Downshift. I've always thought it looked too much like Downshift. So, Omnibots Ho, hopefully. hopefully. By the way, yeah. did you see the new pictures for um, Sunstreaker? I did. Like, because he's pretty much he's a, like a remold of this. A remold of Wheeljack, just like he was in Combiner Wars. So, but it looks cool. Though. He's almost a bit too wheel jacky for me, but it's it's I think far it looks good though. I don't know. I honestly think he looks kind of cleaner than than the masterpiece, you know, because you don't have all that junk. He does. <laughs> like behind. Oh, finally, have a great excuse to get rid of that masterpiece. I saw pictures of him, and all I could see was like gaps. I just looked at him, and was like, "There's just an ocean of like gaps." I think. I think Can't that, that. You just have issues. Yeah. <laughs> Perhaps I do. Perhaps I do. That's okay. Anyway. All right. Well, do we have any other final thoughts before we wrap up? Be on the lookout since they haven't come out officially yet if you're interested in these two figures. Yep. Um, and uh, no, I'd agree. Randall says that Sunstreaker should be a, a retool of Sideswipe, so... I, I, I do agree so. with that, so... Um, I don't agree with that. I think it... Like, I think what they did this time works, though, so I I, I like the new figure that, that's coming out, so... But, anyway. But, yeah, no, I would definitely recommend both of these figures. Grease Pit, like, I think is, is definitely the one that I personally would go with if I could only get one of the two. So, but... Um, yeah, so uh, check out our other shows. Uh, last night we had an interview with EJ Sue, so uh, so that was a lot of fun with him and Rick um, and Paul. So uh, and then also TF Talk <coughs> News um, was uh, was new for the week as well. Uh, so that should be on our YouTube and podcast feeds. Uh, I don't know if Ouch is back tomorrow. If that's next week, I don't know. I haven't talked to Rob, so we'll find. It's maybe or maybe we don't. I don't know. But, and of course, cut the tape, um, you know, where Rick opens up random stuff and makes me edit the videos. So, um, and thank you to Randall for the feedback about the sound being too low. So I will make sure to increase that for next time. Um, and uh, I guess that's it. So if you want to continue the chat, check us out on our Discord app. Uh, the link should be... Um, um, on YouTube and I think it should be on social media as well so but yeah yeah Randall said Rick uh, Rick watch Rick die a little bit um, so uh, that was that's true I guess so sounds interesting he, he, wa he wanted to out. buy some of EJ's art that he had done from Lost Light, but I guess the EJ had done all of his art digitally, so there were no prints for him to oh. um to do so yeah, or to buy or whatever, so so that was what Rena was talking about. So anyway. So, well, thank you, uh, uh, Randall and Catherine in the chat. It was a lot of fun for uh, with your feedback and whatnot. So, and we will see you next week. All right, thanks, Kate. See you later. Bye.